So designing your tile and stone project, and maybe you have some questions about how to terminate your tile, like where does it end? I've got a solution for you, a metal trim. If you don't know me, my name is Craig, and I was a commercial contractor for over 20 years, and I wanna help you through your tile and stone project. Over the years, the tile shapes have changed a little bit. We used to get all sorts of coves and bull noses and pencil edges. Well, as those shapes have diminished in the market, there was a need for a metal edge piece. These metal trim pieces are used all over the tile industry to serve all sorts of purposes. And you may need one for your installation. And I wanna help you answer the questions of where to use it and how to install it. The simple benefit of metal edge trims are to terminate the edges of your tile. So when your tile is finished and maybe you have a drywall or transitioning to another finish like wood or a cabinet, you want to end that with a finished piece. This can often be a metal trim, maybe a simple L angle or even a cube shape to add an aesthetic flair to your installation. This metal trim does a couple of different things. It protects the edge of your tile from traffic. For instance, what if you've got a lobby that has a lot of rolling traffic? The UPS guy comes in all the time. Well, they make ramps and metal trims for that. This, again, gets that rolling traffic over the metal and onto the top of your tile without damaging the edge. The aesthetics, well, I'm not big on aesthetics. I can't match my clothes. But metal trim comes in all sorts of colors, sizes, and finishes. There's even trim out there that's gold. Can you imagine that? Whatever the purpose, whatever the transition you need, try a metal trim. If you're familiar with installing tile, installing a metal trim is not difficult at all. As always, we start with our layout. We pop our lines and we know where we want to end our tile. And whether it's on the floor or the wall, you can take your trim piece and mock up on that line where it's gonna sit. Then you can get your precise measurements for your tile going into the trim piece. Now you know where it's gonna go and where everything's laid out. Let's start getting our trim pieces, our metal edges ready to install. Don't be nervous about cutting your metal edge. I'm gonna give you three ways to cut it. The first is using some metal shears. Once you mark your metal where you want it to be or the length you need it, then take your shears and cut along that line. As always, when working with metal, make sure you've got your hands protected using some gloves. And then after the cut, use a sanding block to ease down those edges. They can be sharp. The second way is using a chop saw or a miter saw with a metal specific blade. This is my favorite way of cutting metal. It makes a really clean cut. You almost don't need to sand it, but I still suggest taking a sanding block to it and easing down those edges. The last way I suggest is using that tile wet saw with a diamond blade. This is the most common way it's used in the field just because you already have the saw there. One warning I will give you, if you cut a lot of metal with your diamond blade, it can wear it out more quickly and give you ragged cuts on your tile. So in my opinion, it's best to have the two options, have a specific metal blade and a specific tile blade and don't intermarry the two. As always, as a point of safety, make sure you take whatever cut side you have and use a sanding block to ease down those edges because they can be sharp. If you're familiar with installing tile, installing a metal edge is not difficult. You've already got your tile laid out, you've got your lines popped on your wall or your floor, and now you know where your transition pieces need to be. These metal edges will fit right there. So let's mix up our mortar, trial it out just like normal, and set our metal edges or trims into where those lines are popped. The great thing about metal edges, they have holes in them. And these holes allow the mortar to squeeze through and bond to the tile. This creates a metal edge sandwich. You've got your mortar bonded to the tile on one side, 
and the substrate on the other side and the metal is held securely in there once everything is cured. Finish your tile work, let those set up and you're ready to grout and finish it. If your metal edge is the termination of your tile area, you're gonna wanna put a caulk joint between the metal and the wall to close that gap and make sure nothing penetrates the tile system. These metal trim pieces are not only functional, they're aesthetic also. This is when you can add your personality to the installation, whether it's the edge of a countertop or a balcony, a ramp for the UPS guy so he doesn't break your marble. It doesn't matter, there's a metal trim piece to serve your needs. So get creative, find what you're looking for. We love the selection at tilebar.com. Our Trim Essentials line can offer you many different shapes, colors, and sizes. But if you don't see what you want, make sure you ask your sales representative. With its versatility and durability, metal trim pieces can be the finishing touch to your tile installation. I hope you got value out of this video. Please, once again, like and subscribe. I've got another video right here to talk about layout, which we discussed a little bit, but you need to go a little more in depth. And don't forget, let's keep learning together and tile the world, even with metal. You know, why not? Heavy metal, Metallica, metal trim.